Now I am presenting to you the master class uh, with uh, Joe Nina, Le Papa Steve Kekana because uh, we are celebrating them. They are living legends, not only to me, but to many viewers watching this right now. And uh, Papa Steve, when it comes to getting into the industry, right? The first thing, you obviously have passion for music. You just want to release music. But what is the most overlooked thing when it comes to releasing your music and having that impact on society? I think the most overlooked thing is this right now. When you do music, it is not what you are doing, it is how you do it. You'll never succeed in anything that you do in life if you are looking at the what part of it. You must look at the how. How do I manage this music? How do I manage this profession of mine? Am I able to diversify where it is important, where it is necessary? You, know, you don't just say, uh, well, this is my God-given talent, so I'll just sing, so things will just fall into place. No, you don't do that. You must have the how part, how management. Joe Nina, yes. you've stayed relevant and as you've mentioned, you drop in your 30th album in 2020, 20 plenty. It takes a lot of consistency. It takes a lot of dedication. What has made you focus on the music, uh, focus on your art and not let the money and the fame get to you? Um, firstly, I, th I think uh, being original is very crucial. Mm. Because uh, when you're original, you, you, you're one of a kind, and in that way, uh, you are able to sustain yourself. Maybe not always uh, financially, but with your craft that is. And uh, more than anything, it's, it's, it's allowing yourself to learn. Mm. I, I think the problem is, when I love about the and say, mm. <laughs> 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 I think personally, by doing that, you. you Putting yourself into a ceiling, and you have a of lula lapo, which is what's causing a, a depression in a lot of art, upcoming artists. Uh, but once again, is I want to emphasize on that point: originality is very crucial. It's very, very important. Now, when you look, when you look at the the the, the craft of making music, you both made music during the apartheid era. Number one, um, when we look at the software that the, 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 my peers or the kids are using nowadays, it's all computer generated. They don't worry about learning an instrument, you know. Um, so having to know like music, having to learn an instrument, that would, I'd understand that is a big challenge. But in terms of bringing it back in 2020, what would you say the biggest challenges are for artists today? I think the biggest challenge today for musicians, up and coming musicians, is that uh, they, uh, I'll, I'll use this word, they believe in handouts. I'm saying handouts because they just plug in the computer and uh, they process it. It'll tell you this chord is an E minor, this is wah wah wah. But he, he, he doesn't really understand the texture of being able to hold a, an E minor in a guitar or in a piano, yes. you see, then <clears throat> it's a problem because then you are not, that, that song naturally does not become original. Mm. That song does not become innovative. You know? In terms of your performance on the DSTV Mzanti Viewers uh, Choice Awards stage, Papa Steve, wait to unali the album, I like oh, what, over 40 albums and, and now in terms of your hits, Hit after hit after hit after hit. What okay for my Ingmo staging? Well, I'll be doing a Take Your Love and Keep It. Mm -hmm. And I can promise the Mzanzi viewers that uh, we're going to rock them. The show is going to be marvelous or immaculate, if I may use this big word. <laughs> <coughs> um, you must know that a legend is speaking. But you know, another, thing, another thing is, I, I, I would urge, I would urge young young people to go search for the word legend in a dictionary. They will be shocked that even in a tour, there is a notorious legend, and there is a good legend. So anytime you say somebody is a legend, make sure that you know what you are saying.
Thank you so much for chilling with me. Um, as I'm speaking to you, I'm sweating. I've got goosebumps. What a privilege and an honor to be in your presence. Thank you for the music again. Keep on being the light and the salt of this beautiful earth. I love you guys. Thank you for having us.